Originally started into, into uh, the Communicate Disorders program to go into speech pathology. Uh, I thought I would enjoy that, but as I started taking audiology classes, I knew that that's where I wanted to pursue, and I ended up as an audiologist. I enjoy working with the people. That is by far the most fun thing, most rewarding thing that I do. I really enjoy people when they walk out of my clinic that they are able to say, I can hear and I've changed people's lives. Had people break down in tears and tell me how wonderful it is to be able to hear their grandchildren again or their wife or anybody. It's uh, very rewarding in that matter. Go Aggies! Since you've never had your hearing tested before, let me explain a little bit about what we'll do. First thing we'll do is I'll start off by looking in your ears. While you are all just still here. <laughs> I won't find anything there that surprises me. <laughs> I'm saying it all. <laughs> yeah. After I make sure everything's clear and there's no wax build up or anything, we'll use this machine right here. Because what we do for this is I put a little soft rubber tip down in your ear, and it puts a little bit of air pressure in your ear. And it moves your eardrum a little bit and tells us if everything's moving and working how it's supposed to. And all you have to do for that is just sit there. It's all automatic. So. You just have to relax for a few minutes. I bet I'll be able to. <laughs> yeah. After that, we'll take you over here and put you in the sound booth. And in there, I'll put some little earphones in your ears. And I'll give you a button to push. And I'll play some beeps. Whenever you hear the beep, I want you to push the button. And what we're after is we're trying to find out the very softest sounds that you can hear. So whenever you hear the but beep, I'll have you push the button. And they'll be get very soft, so you can just barely hear them. And we'll do different frequencies, so we'll do high pitches and low pitches and find out where you're hearing at all the different pitches. And uh, we'll do both sides separately. And then I'll do a little bit of speech testing where I'll have you repeat some words back to me. And we want to make sure that the speech calibrates with, up with the beeps and there everything matches up. And then we'll finish off with some loudness testing where I'll have you tell me when things get too loud. We want to find out the very softest level you can hear sounds and then when sounds get too loud. So we can put the new set the hearing aid up so it fits okay. within that range. Sounds pretty you know. safe. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to be worried about. The hardest thing is staying awake sometimes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me take a peek in there. That air drum looks great. Got a little bit of wax, but not very much at all. That looks good too. Do you have any ear infections when you were young? Do you remember? I don't think so. Got a little bit of a scarring right on the very top of the eardrum. Looks like maybe at some point your eardrum is broken. And, uh, but it looks fine now. That soft tip. I'll just put it in your ear. Okay. Set this right here. Okay, you'll feel a little bit of pressure like you're going through the canyon. You hear a few beeps. Okay, 
beeping. Now you're going to hear a series of beeps. At what you're hearing now. Switch to the other side. What's that telling you? As what that last one, with all the beeps measured, it measures a response that we call the acoustic reflex. And it's what it does is when you hear a loud noise, there's a muscle inside your ear. It's called the stapedius muscle. So what it does is it locks up a little tiny bone so a lot of loud sound doesn't get through. It's kind of a protection for you for loud sounds. And I just wanted to make sure that was... Sure Working how it's supposed to, yeah. <laughs> some people don't have it, some people, most people do, but there's some that are, that don't have it, but it's something that's good to check, just to make sure. Okay. Okay. Now let's go in this other room and we'll test your hearing. Okay, this is that little soft tip, it's just a little foam earplug type thing. It fits down in your ear. Okay, here is the button to push when I play the beeps to you. Just push that button whenever you hear the beep. beep. Yep, and then let go. Okay. But they'll get very, very soft. Switch so ear. Just we'll one ear at a time. We'll or... probably start with your right ear first. Okay. But we'll do one ear at a time. So we'll do different pitches and just whenever you hear the beep, go ahead and push it. Okay. I'll be able to talk back and forth to you, so if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. Just push that button when you hear the beep. Even if it's very, very soft, go ahead and push it for me, okay?
Okay, now we'll do the same thing but on the left side. You're doing great, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, same thing but on the left side. Okay, just give me just a minute here to set up for the next test. I'll be right back with you. Okay, Leah, I should just be in your left ear now. Is that comfortable level right there? Okay. If I was a television, would you turn me up, down, or leave me about the same? Okay. If I went up to here, is that getting a little bit too loud? Okay. How about here? One, two, three. A little loud. If you were to say what a most comfortable level would be, would this be it about right here? Okay, so right here, probably good. Okay. How about on this side, on the right side? Okay, is that better right there? Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you a list of words, uh, and they're going to slowly get quieter and quieter. I just want you to repeat them back to me as long as you can hear and understand what they are. Okay, say the word baseball, airplane, cowboy, hot dog, toothbrush, mouse trap, ice cream, popcorn, railroad, shoelace, Mailman, hot dog, railroad, baseball, airplane, cowboy, toothbrush, popcorn. Okay, now the same thing but on the left side. Popcorn, ice cream, baseball, airplane, shoelace, cowboy. Okay, you're doing great. Now, the words won't get any quieter. Just repeat them back to me the best that you can. Say the word base. Say the word mess. What was that one again? Say the word cause. 
Say the word mop. Say the word good. Say the word luck. Say the word walk. Say the word youth. Say the word pain. Say the word date. Say the word pearl. Say the word search. Say the word ditch. Say the word talk. Say the word ring. Say the word germ. Say the word life. Say the word team. Say the word lid. Say the word pole. Say the word road. Say the word shall. Say it. Say the word late. Say the word cheek. Say the word bed. Okay, they give me just a minute to enter this information into the computer. Okay, now we'll do the same thing but on the left side. Say the word pass. Say the word doll. Say the word back. Say the word red. Say the word wash. Say the word sour. Say the word bone. Say the word get. Say the word wheat. Say the word thumb. Say the word sell. Say the word yearn. Say the word wife. Say the word such. Say the word neat. What was that one? Okay. Say the word peg. Say the word mob. Say the word gas. Say the word check. Say the word join. Say the word lease. Say the word long. Say the word chain. Say the word kick. Say the word hole. Okay, for this next test, I'm going to make it a little bit different. It's still words again. I'm going to turn the volume level down just a little bit. And I'm going to put some noise into the opposite ear. I'm going to make it a little bit hard for you here. <laughs> so, just make your best guess at what the word is. Here comes the noise. Okay, say the word lean. Say the word Tape. Say the word tire. Say the word dip. Say the word rose. Say the word cane. Say the word fit. Say the word make. Say the word vote. Say the word judge. Say the word food. Say the word ripe. Say the word have. Say the word rough. Say the word kill. Say the word lose. Say the word near. Say the word perch. Say the word shirt. Say the word bath. Say the word time. Say the word hall. Say the word mood. 
Say the word dog. Say the word should. Okay, we'll do the same thing, but on the other side. Say the word dodge. Say the word seize. Say the word cool. Nope, not as good as you did on the other one. But that's kind of what we would expect with your hearing loss, so nothing to be worried about. Nope. Okay, we're done with the words. Okay, give me just a minute to get back to the other screen. I'll be right back with you. Okay, for this test, this is where we want to find out where sounds become too loud to you. So I'm going to play some more beeps to you, and I'm going to turn the volume level up. When I reach a level that is just too loud, tell me to stop. You don't need to push the button, just say stop. Uh, now I don't want it to be painfully loud, but I want it to be uncomfortably loud. So just say stop when I reach that point that is just too loud. We'll start with your right ear first. You reach the limit of my machine there. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. Then. You reach the limit of the machine again. <laughs> okay, we'll do the same thing but on the left side. Okay, that's it for that. We're almost done. I'll be right in to switch your headphones around.
to concentrate on that one. Yes, you do. Okay, I'm going to put this back in on this side. I'll put a little bit of noise into this right here. It will sound like static. I just want you to ignore that and listen for the beat. Press the button when you hear the beat. Okay, that's what I like. You're doing good. That's it.